down. Okay, hold on. Someone's almost dead. I need to finish somebody off. Hello everybody and welcome to Enter the Gungeon. This is a brand new game that has just come out on Steam, uh, put together by Dodge Roll Games and put out, I believe, by Devolver Digital. Um, this is a really fun game. I have just played a few rounds on my Cthulhu Tuesday live stream. Um, people who are familiar with The Binding of Isaac and Nuclear Throne and roguelikes of those calibers are going to feel very comfortable and familiar uh, with this game. That being said, I'm still garbage at it, but uh, I at least I get it. I get what's going on, and I just need to put in the time and effort to get good at it and not suck horribly. Um, so I'm not going to give too much of an explanation. There is a tutorial you can play through that gives you most of what you need to know, uh, but I'm going to kind of explain by doing, I think, to start off here. Uh, so you have four characters you can choose from, and they each have different starting weapons and passive and active um, abilities. Uh, so far, I've had the best luck. I don't know, I haven't had great luck overall, to be quite honest. <laughs> I think I like... Oh, gosh, I am... I'm liking the Marine fairly well, because he's super accurate. Uh, is one thing he has going for him, and he's a little bit tankier. He's not amazing, but he's pretty good. So you can go in over there for the tutorial, and there are other doors that I have yet to unlock because I'm garbage, uh, but then you can come through here and go down into the gungeon. Now, the end game, as I understand it, is you want to go through the gungeon and get kind of the end treasure, uh, a gun that can kill the past. And that's kind of why uh, all of our peoples, um, they're, they're here because they have something they want to undo in their lives. So we've got a convict and a hunter and a marine and, and so on and so forth. So, um, kind of like with the Binding of Isaac, you go into different rooms and you shoot bad guys to clear the rooms. Sometimes, once you clear the room, more enemies will spawn, so you have to keep fighting. Uh, and then a lot of these rooms will have these glowing... Uh, six round revolver kind of things. It's a teleporter, which is really nice. As long as you are not currently in combat, you can teleport uh, pretty much anywhere, or from anywhere, I should say, to one of those teleporters. So here you can see more enemies spawning in. These cute, adorable little bullets that just so happen to be shooting at you. And we have a third round. Holy crap. So it's, it's pretty familiar combat. You know, kite around, dodge bullets, and shoot back. Uh, thankfully, you can use your mouse to aim, which is really nice. It also has controller support, but I'm, I'm a keyboard and mouse kind of guy. And you can flip tables. And if there's stuff on the tables, those get thrown around too. It's really cool. And you can use these tables as temporary shields. Uh, they will break eventually, but uh, they may just save you a hit or two. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip that. Oh, there's a... Uh, there's some bad guys. So you can see that table starting to get broken. Um, one really important mechanic in this game is the dodge roll. You can right-click on your mouse, if you're using a mouse, to dodge... What?! The corner shot, though... Oh, there's a, an ammo crate we can't use, because we have... Most of the starting weapons you get are infinite ammo pistols. Um, so we obviously cannot pick up more ammo if we already have infinite ammo. Cannot have more than infinite, at least last time I checked. It's been a while since I've been in a math class, but that's one one of the very, very few things that has stuck with me. You cannot have infinite plus one. <laughs> as, mu as much as uh, five-year-olds may disagree, you cannot have infinite plus one. Alright, so those grenade guys I hate. They chase you down and they try to explode in your face. These, these magicians I also hate because they shoot those shapes at you, which are much harder to dodge than any of the other shots. You can see this chandelier here. You can also sometimes have stuff like that, some interactive environmental stuff. You can drop it down and it does some AoE damage on guys, and it's really cool. Uh, There's going to be a lot of stuff I'm just going to be blowing through here, so uh, hopefully I don't go too fast. You can see I pick up these casings after clearing a room. That is your currency. Uh, I also have keys up here. I have my health up here. And then I have these things called blanks. You get two of them per floor, and then they will recharge once you get to the next floor. 
They're basically uh, a panic button. If you are getting surrounded and there's all kinds of shots coming down on you, it will it will detonate all enemy shots on the screen, and it'll also give you some pushback on close by enemies. I'm um, in here like I could buy some more now that I'm in the shop. Here's our our shop. I, I need to I have a good name for the shopkeeper, like Broham the shopkeeper. I don't know. He's this big burly like Italian looking guy. I don't know. Red Guan Stone. I do not have enough cash for that. Uh, or for half a heart, or for ammo. I don't need either of those, but uh, I might come back for that guan stone. There are a lot of items that I am not yet familiar with and I want to keep doing some science on. These, woo, as you can see there, are exploding barrels. That dang guy was trying to take me out with one. Clever bugger. I'm gonna get rid of these. So this guy is pretty accurate. Uh, other starting characters are not quite as accurate, so I do like him for that because I'm still pretty bad. So any any little bit of help I can get, I will take for starting off. Um, and eventually you will get better weapons. I just have yet to find one on this run. But you can come across chests, um, or if you're lucky, there'll be some weapons in the shop and you can purchase them. But as of oh, speaking of which, so this is a locked chest. I have a key. Let's open it up and we get a banana. It's a weapon apparently. Banana. Plain pain. What? <laughs> um, so I can hit the I key and bring up my ammo, what is it called? Ammonomicon. And it, you can actually like check out all your items and you can kind of check out an encyclopedia of all the different items and learn about them, which is really nice. It takes the mystery out of it, which is kind of something I like about the Binding of Isaac. When you're starting out, you have to find out what items do, but it, it is nice all in the same time. So. Let's see, bananas resemble guns and are high in potassium, a convenient snack and or weapon for gungeoneers. Interesting, I have not come across this one. So this is not an infinite ammo weapon. I have 50 out of 50 currently. Where am I going? Uh, I want to go down here, so I'm just going to teleport. Oh, it's so amazing. And then if I were to come back to here and interact with it, it brings me back to where I teleported from. So good. So more games need this. This would have saved me so much time in my many, many, many Binding of Isaac runs. Okay, so there's our boss room. I don't want to go there quite yet. I want to check out the rest of the floor, see if there's any goodies I can get. Um, okay, so I think... Ooh! So I charge up my banana and then let her rip. That's kind of cool. That ain't half bad, and I got lucky, I got a uh, an armor drop there. So it goes up next to my hearts, and it will it'll take one shot, it'll absorb one shot for me. That guy just blew right up. Dang guy. So it'll absorb one shot. Um, I've come across one item that will recharge your armor, or will recharge one armor every floor, which is kind of nice. So it, uh, it doesn't recharge on its own or anything like that. But uh, it'll at least save you one damage, which is A-OK -okay in my book. This banana's kind of cool. I, I'm kind of liking it. Okay, so since there is a free blank here, I'm going to show you uh, what that does. Here, let me just reload real quick. Oh, when you swap, does it auto-reload for you? So I'm going to hit Q right now. Boom! kind of does a blast radius and obviously you couldn't see it interact with any bullets there because I'm an idiot and I didn't have any bullets around but <laughs> you kind of get the general idea uh, oh this is new to me all right he doesn't like me I've never seen that kind of chest I've seen the regular weapons chest and I've seen like an item chest it was kind of a red thing and I've seen a gold chest he just made an R that was strange. I have no idea what that boss looking chest is. Ooh, a health drop too. Man, I'm getting some lucky drops here on this run. Health seems to be super rare. So after I beat the boss, I may be coming back. I'm, I'm really curious if that chest is going to open after I beat a boss. So we're gonna switch to the banana gun. We're gonna go in and see who we got for a boss here. Hello? This is new to me. The Trigger Twins, double tap. 
So previously, I seemed to cycle between the same two bosses every time I was on this first floor boss fight. So I did not realize that there is, oh gosh, at least a third boss type to come across. That's nice. I, I was starting to think that was going to get a little repetitive, only having a pool of two bosses to pull from. So until now, I haven't really had to worry about the dodge roll, but I think I'm going to have to worry about it in this fight. Ooh, they're spawning people in. Okay. So the dodge roll will give you temporary invincibility, as you might guess. Which also, as you might guess, is really, really useful. <laughs> um, this game, unlike your Binding of Isaacs and kind of unlike your Nuclear Thrones and whatnot, uh, definitely has some bullet hell elements to it, as you can probably tell. Oh gosh, I just walked right into that for no apparent reason whatsoever. So I have to remember, I can use my Q oh, if things are getting really bad, and I should be doing that already. Like I said, I'm still garbage at this game. It's taken me some getting used to. My, my brain needs to map what's going on a little bit better than it currently is. Uh, okay, hold on, someone's almost dead. I need to finish somebody off. It's not him, it's her. Ugh, let's, let's use our Q there. It's gonna recharge on the next floor anyway. Okay. We're doing better. I got one twin down. Let's switch weapons for a bit. Ugh, ugh. My main issue so far... Oh, I think he's worse now that his twin is dead. My main issue so far has been bad dodges. Like, I'll dodge into other stuff, or I'll dodge kind of along the line of shots and then still get hit <laughs> once my dodge is over. Ugh. So that's going to be my main focus, is getting better at that, and then I think I'm going to have a much better time in this game overall. Phew. Okay, so I took a few hits there, but not too bad, honestly. Not too bad. So there's this is some like persistent currency that will last after a run, uh, which I haven't figured out what to do with it yet. I get a little more armor back. Um, let's reload, and then I can get an armor or an armor, a weapons munition crate here. So bananas are refilled, and then some kind of item. Gold amulet, blank damage up. Cool. So a couple of those amulets I've come across, well, they seem to be modifiers on your blanks. Um, so I, I've had some that have a burn chance when you use a blank, a freeze chance, that kind of thing. Okay, so this requires an actual key of some type that I have not come across yet, and I don't have any other outstanding rooms to go to, so I guess I just wasn't lucky enough to get what I needed. Now there this seems to be empty here. I wonder if that's just the uh, the exit room. Let's find out. So we beat the boss, we cleared the floor, plus a little bit of health. Okay, yeah, that this is what I was thinking it was. So we can go in this wonderful bullet elevator down to the next floor, one step closer to the gun that can kill the past. So if you can't tell already, I am really enjoying this game so far. I have a lot of work to do to get good at it, <laughs> but I'm really enjoying it. Oh, you cheese. You dang cheese guy. I had nowhere to go. Okay, these dumb slimes, like all slimes in video games, will split once you kill them. Um, so just be aware of that. One other thing I like is when you're in combat, your minimap automatically goes away. And then when, when you've cleared the room, it comes back up. So it's kind of like a nice, subtle little indicator that you're done with the room. You don't have to worry about more enemies spawning or anything like that. Um, alrighty. Not too bad of a room. It's a little tight, but uh, nothing we can't manage. Oh, I hate this guy so bad. I hate this guy so bad. It's It shoots out these spikes, and the spikes come back at you afterwards, and you can only damage it when it's open. Oh, come on. Oh, gosh! Ah, I dodged right into that. You see what I'm talking about? Dodging into stuff. Not good for business. Whew, if I could get me... If I could get someone to pay me for dodging into stuff, I would definitely be making bank. Oh! oh, oh. I thought I had the corner on that guy. Oh, gosh! Okay, so things are quickly getting really bad, and I think... I just realized I left health behind on that last floor. That feels really bad. That just now occurred to me. That could be a run ender right there. Okay, let's charge our banana. Banana nanner. 
Um, we got ghosty, we got slimy. Hey, oh, wow! I'll just totally biff the slime. How about that? <laughs> Sounds good. Good choices there, Cthulhu. Ooh, are these... I was wondering if I could do anything with these targets. It doesn't, like, it's... It's kind of interacting with them, but it doesn't seem like it's actually doing anything, sadly. Okay, we've got some shotgunners here. I'm gonna use lots of banana, just because life is looking a little rough currently. So I'm just gonna go ahead and expend what I have in hopes of getting places, if that makes sense. Okay, what do we have in this next room? I would like to find a shop right quick. Ooh, these boxes are a little scary. Let's banana them. They're not as bad as the, uh, as the wizards in my mind. Ooh, sniper. Sniper, I'm not too keen on. And we have the wizard, too, that shoots the shapes. Dang, guy, what do you think this is? Tetris? Get out of here. Oh, yes, a health drop. Oh, that's clutch. That is clutch. And then here's a door we can't get to until we come around from the other side. Like, we can't open it until we open it from the other side. And since that's the boss room, we're going to have to go up to the top here and work our way around. Okay, let's bait these guys over here and then blow them up! And let's get a banana out. Reload! Swap! Banana! Save me! Ah, dodge roll! Okay, I took a hit. Banana! Banana of sweet justice! And then there are gaps in the floor and stuff you have to watch out for, too. Um, and you can dodge over them, but if you're just... Oh, come on! I right-clicked! I right-clicked! Oh, I've been robbed, guys. I have been robbed. Well, at least I beat a boss on this run. It was a new boss to me, too, so I feel a little bit better about that. Uh, but you can see I've died seven times, and then you kind of show some stats of how long your run went, how much money you accrued even though you lose it all, how many kills I got, and then what I had and what I was killed by, kind of like an ending screenshot of what killed you, which is kind of cool. And then you could either quick restart or you can return to the breach, which is that little starting area I showed you. And so far, every time I've died, a little something has been added to the breach here. So like they started kind of building out over this gap, they put up a bunk bed, a fridge, uh, the marine set up camp here, and it looks like now we have a uh, little seating to do. So like the longer it takes me to beat this game, the more they're just getting entrenched and assuming, yeah, we're, we're just stuck here. We're gonna be here forever. What's this inventory? What is this? Huh? Oh, inventory eye. Okay. Gotcha. It's just bringing me to my, uh, Amanamacon. So this is pretty cool. I've never actually looked at the bosses in here before. So, originally, I was swapping between Bullet King and Gatling Gull for the first tier boss. And then all of a sudden, Smiley and Shades got thrown in on me. Good bullet and bad bullet. That's funny. Um, and these bosses so far are very different from each other, which is really nice. Um, it keeps me guessing. And then you can see like your enemies and your items, and your guns, all that good stuff. So really cool, well-polished game. Um, I'm used to playing kind of in-dev indie games where stuff doesn't start out all that great and they tweak it a lot as they go along. But this is feeling very much a completed product. I'm sure I wouldn't be surprised if there's a few tweaks that come through here and there, um, but it, it feels really good. It plays good, controls are tight. Um, the layout of the keyboard controls isn't my favorite, but I think I just need to get used to it, um, and then I'll be a lot more comfortable with it. And I might try a little bit of controller as well, but aiming-wise, I just would not like the controller as much as the mouse, I don't think. But uh, it is an option at least. So that will do it for today for this initial inaugural episode of Enter the Gungeon. I hope you guys enjoyed and I, that you can look past my crappiness and see the game for what it is. Um, it is a lot of fun and I highly recommend you pick it up. I will have a link in the description to the Steam store page for Enter the Gungeon. I believe... It's around 15 bucks and then 20 something bucks if you want to have like the collector's edition. It comes with, uh, I think, the soundtrack and a webcomic and maybe one other thing. I don't know. Um, I just went with the basic version myself. 
But uh, yeah, I think you should check it out. It's a lot of fun, especially if you enjoy stuff like Nuclear Throne and Binding of Isaac, like I mentioned. It's a very natural transition from those games and I am enjoying it a whole heck of a lot. If you guys enjoy the video, please feel free to leave a like. If you didn't like the video, let me know with a dislike. It doesn't hurt my feelings at all. I just love getting feedback from you guys and as always, please leave some comments. I want to hear from you guys and I will more than likely respond back to those comments. I like getting some discussion going with y'all. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys again next time for the next episode of Enter the Gungeon.